Hello, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming over and checking yet another video. Um, so, <sighs> what do I do? What do we, what do we talk about? Well, I have a good idea. I'm going to go through how much it actually costs to make a lightsaber. Oh yeah, I'm going to break it down, give you the prices, let you know all, because it's not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes a long time as well. So anyway, let's get into it. So if I wanted to make this lightsaber, let's find out the costing, shall we? Oh, right. So the very first thing is uh, the metal. Uh, there's th uh, you got this bit of metal here, which is um, triangle bar. You got this metal, which is a uh, 38 mil diameter. Uh, this is 38 mil diameter. This is 38 mil diameter. The main core is 32 mil, and then this is slightly smaller at 28 mil, which then goes down to house the blade. Uh, just for the metal alone, for this hilt, um, let me see, would cost around for this specific one the 32, the metal for the 32 uh, millimeter would be about three pounds. The 28 millimeter would be about two pounds. Uh, this would be about uh, £6, because it's actually quite expensive, being uh, a, a wider amount, so that's not cheap. And then for this here, you're looking at about £8, because you actually do go through quite a lot of that. It is really, really expensive, so yay. <clears throat> so, quite a bit there, altogether. Um, and then we've got the work that goes into it so for me from start to finish if i start at nine o'clock in the morning uh it will take me about six hours to complete the entire thing oh the leather uh the leather will be about 10 pounds eight ten pounds something like that um and then it'll take me about six hours to make this so on a minimum hourly rate of 12 pounds which is actually way lower than it should be uh you'd be looking at about 72 pounds for that um these are exact amounts these are rounded off as close as i can get it down uh for you uh you have a switch you have a charging port so for that switch you'd be looking at about two pounds um then for the charging port maybe 50p you've got an end cap which is about a pound uh you need paint so it's hard to break down paint but maybe two pounds worth of paint um, but then you've also got all the other things. Now, this is where the prices start hiking up. For the Xenopixel blade that goes in the top here, for the blade, and for the pogo pins which go in here, which the blade sits on and gets a, information from, and also the soundboard, so just for the soundboard, the pogo pins, and the blade, you're about £88, that is including shipping and tax, that's including 20%, um, oh that does include the 20% uh, import tax, sorry guys, I forgot about that. Um, so you'd be looking at about £90, uh, or just over £90, maybe between £90 and £95. Um, you then have a battery, which is about £6, you have a speaker, which is about £3, you've got miscellaneous electric cables, maybe £2. Um, you then got, uh, I send out a felt bag for all the little pieces because it, rather than being cheap and tacky, I would like a little felt bag. Uh, and a felt bag is about £1.30 because I buy, I thought, think about a thousand of them. Uh, to ship the lightsaber to you. So just to send the lightsaber to you, uh, it would be, I think it's £12.99 now with Royal Mail, for guaranteed next day first class delivery for UK based only customers outside the uk it will be a completely different price um then like i said labor time is about 72 hours to do the full electric install uh about a two hour job so looking at another 24 pounds for that the postal tube i use an extra strong postal tube uh, and that's about three pound 50 for the postal tube uh, so all that comes up to, it comes up to quite a bit. So roughly for all those things, um, you're looking at about £244. So that's a lot of money. Just to make this lightsaber is two, about, uh, could be a bit more, could be a little bit less. 
is about £244. So let's round it off, 250 But there's other costs on top. There's corporation tax, which charges me 12%. And there's VAT. Now, I don't charge any customer VAT. I don't, I've never included VAT. Um, I cover the VAT. So if someone to say, oh, can you, uh, if someone's outside the UK and say, oh, we don't pay VAT on the product, uh, can you reduce the price because we, we don't pay VAT from being outside the UK? Uh, my answer would be no, because I'm not charging you VAT. I don't charge VAT to a customer. I do not include it in the price. So if the price is £400, you pay £400, you don't pay 20% extra on top of that £400. I take the money out of the £400, out of my profits, and I pay the VAT bill. Not many places do that. Uh, and that's 20%. So let's say on a £400 sale, which is a little bit low, a little bit high, it's, it's, it's all like, as close as me I could get it. So £400 sale, that's £80 that comes off that uh, that £400 just for VAT. I then have the corporation tax, which I mentioned as well. And we'll, again, we'll go in £400. So out of that £400, that's about 12%, £48. So just in tax, that's £128 just in tax. So for me to buy all the materials, buy all the electronics, uh, then from scratch create the entire lightsaber from nothing just tubes to what we have here for me to go from nothing to that to then the sale of that item and then the tax being paid for that item and you to get the item after you've ordered it out of that 400 pounds that you would have paid to get this item uh the total costs involved before profit would be around £375, between 370 and 380 If I'm selling that lightsaber at £400, I'm making around £30 profit, £30 to £40 profit. So, uh, but bear in mind, I have got my wages including that so i've got six hours worth of work to make the lightsaber the body of the lightsaber at 12 pound an hour so that's 72 pounds for that and then two hours for electronics uh again which comes to about 24 pounds so i am getting paid a wage <laughs> but my wage is taxed as well <laughs> but everybody's wage is taxed everything in this country is taxed so i'm not gonna moan i'm not i'm not gonna moan about that however the uh out of that three out of that 400 pounds uh 370 pounds is profit uh is 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 money that's gone i i lose that money so i'm making around 20 to 30 pounds profit depending on lightsaber depending on the sale price it's all different each one has its own little specific amount of cost but on an average i tried to average across the board what it is um it would be around £370. So say I, I make about £30 profit per sale. £30 profit. Now, obviously, I can, I, I've got money to live because it pays my wage, pays for the work. That's fine. Uh, but then all that profit goes into an account and it just sits there. And every sale, it tops up and up and up and up and up. And it tops up so that then I will have enough money to then buy all the Xenopixel boards, the blades, the pogo pins. Um, and for one order of say 20, uh, say 20 Xenopixel V3 boards, blades and pogo pins, uh, say for 20 of each of those, uh, it would be about just under £1,700. So, uh, yeah. It's it's one of those situations where it it's not cheap and it costs a lot of money to do. Um, and 
the smart ones out there will realize that actually hang on a minute ben you're not making enough money to buy more boards um at the moment i don't know what's going to happen with four sabers it may continue it may not uh i have about nine sets left so i've got nine xenopixel boards uh nine blades that sort of thing so i have nine of those and my thinking is i'm going to stick to around the 400 450 pound mark um and hopefully be able to get a little bit of money from that and then if i am going to continue doing lightsabers i will continue doing so uh, and i will have to fund four sabers out of my own pocket and my own wage to get more parts um but the key thing is sadly uh, i do i do not have the ability to charge 200 or 250 pounds like i was doing a year ago because it's got me in a situation where it's the company hasn't got enough money i i have to charge what these things actually cost to make i, I have to charge what it involves to 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 do this which is around four or five hundred pounds a lightsaber um if you are wanting a lightsaber and you're wanting to get not spend a lot of money totally get that uh pad i would say pattern outpost straight off the bat every time awesome guys amazing place unbelievable things happening there and because they order so many things so they're like they're like like hundreds and hundreds of lightsabers in one order from their supplier um and they'll be spending tens hundreds of thousands of pounds per order because they spend so much they get their lightsabers and parts at a really good deal which means they can sell uh, their lightsabers at really really good prices so take advantage of that i i have very few sales padawan might post may have a hundred sales a week i may have two orders a week something like that maybe three orders a week uh, or i was until recent events uh, and my ankle so yeah i i will never get the discounts that somewhere like Pado and outpost would get with such huge volumes of orders and huge quantities ordered uh i i get very very i don't get any discount on mine i, I pay top price for for my parts um but if you're if you're wanting something that's cheap quick you're gonna get straight away padawan baby straight off the bat padawan uh if you want something unique custom handmade something that had work time and effort put into it one of one because there'll be no other lightsaber exactly the same uh if that's what you want and it does have its own kind of feel then you know you go you go uh, bespoke you go custom you go uh handmade like these and uh yeah i mean it's it's worth it i think it is personally i accept it's a lot of money and it might not be for you that's totally fine um it, it's, it's not always for everybody but yeah i'll be honest i i think they're good uh i think they're worth it i i just i'm at a point where i have zero choice but to charge what they actually are worth and i need to charge the price that will cover creating and selling them even if say 20 or 30 pound profit i still need to uh, need to do it that way so that i can continue doing it I, there's no point me doing something literally to get a wage out of it um and, and not to be able to progress and get newer things on new, new testing so yeah anyway i hope you like the video that's the honest truth to what goes into making a lightsaber from start to finish costs and prices so uh, thank you so much and i will see you all next sunday at seven